I don't want to do any more for him because yeah. it's all going to get better, <laughs> little guy. Clyde, you'll feel much better soon. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Tavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue. So we have got Clyde and Clyde, as you can see, this morning has a really sore eye. You'll see his other eye is quite normal, but this one here is very, very sore. And if you look real close, you can actually see he's got a hay poke. He's got some hay caught in there. So how do we deal with this? We wrap him up so there's limited movement. And to do that, if you wrap him around, people call it towel wrapping, bunny wrapping, <laughs> you know, all of that but one of the key things here is that under the bottom just put your towel around so they can't shuffle backwards so that helps and then I always elevate a little bit at the front which helps me access the eye because the next thing is you need to have access to the eye and what I'm going to do you can see it's really nasty because this actually goes right into the back of the eye I'm going to apply some saline and that is purely and simply just to get some added fluid there before I attempt to pull that out. In fact, I will use tweezers, but you could, if this were, were at home, you could, could do this by hand. You have to be careful that your guinea pig's not able to move, which is why he's wrapped like this. Hi everyone, quick intermission. We have down below an Amazon wish list, which is another way that you can help support the wonderful work we do here at Cavi Central. Any items that you choose to click on will arrive here with us and of course you'll see them featured in upcoming videos. So take a look at that list at the end of the video. We appreciate your support. Let's get back to the video. And then you're going to get it side onto the eye and we're going to pull it out and that's... was all in his eye pretty big yeah it was in the back so the bit that was sticking out was the bit in front it's of the tweezers bit. yeah and his poor little eyes at the back adding that saline really helps it just gives a bit of a buffering fluid in there because you, you've got to remove and looking at the front I knew it would be really quite substantial because it's got like five barbs on that this mm. one over here like that has gone quite away in there and this one so he's had that floating in his eye. The question is now, what do you do? So I'll sit that down on there. I'm going to wipe outwards from the corner of the eye. It's getting a fresh, you'll have tissues at home, fresh, clean tissue. You can get little swabs if you'd like, but everyone will have tissues at home. And I want you to wipe from the corner out. You've seen me do this with Q-tips. I might get some Q-tips in a minute. You can notice there, there's a little bit of blood on that and that's because the poke of the yeah. you know it has hit and it's in around his eye so whenever you see this it's an indication that infection can be brewing so he most likely putting an antibiotic in at this stage is going to help now here in Australia the antibiotic ointment drops that you use is called Clorsig and we get that from a chemist it does sting a bit. I've had people say, oh, it must sting. In fact, you can see there's a little bit more. There's even a lash or a hair or something that's been picked up that came out. But um, Clorsig, like when we do it ourselves, it has an initial sting component and then goes. It's no different for these animals, but it is the thing that will absolutely balance and get top of, on top of any, mm -hmm. any issue. Now, what we're just going to do is look around because he does have, yeah, you can see down here in the right that's where it went in there's quite a bit there so i want to flush that eye a bit more and i'm going to get some q-tips because they will actually help get that area a little bit more specific rather than a tissue which is big so you can see his little eye okay so now we're going to look closely at this eye just to see that there's no more debris in there because even though one bit has come out there's oftentimes there's a bit more so again we're just going to put some saline drop the saline in there a few drops of that you can see how 
viscous it is and yeah you can see down here the edge of the lid has been pierced so I'll put double glasses on now because he's got a lot of yeah, a lot of build up yeah there's been a few little pokes there I'm just wiping out some sludginess that's built up in the eye and you can see the color of it is blood because where the lid was perforated it was bleeding so what we need to do is just sweep out from the working on the outer eye not the inside of the eye I know is that still sore there yeah still very sore he just jumped back from that Yeah, it really did poke around his eye quite a bit. This tissue is all inflamed and swollen. That will start to calm down. And the greyness that you can see on the eye is um, the cloudiness, which will slowly dissipate. But um, we need to watch out for any damage to the globe. Now I'm working on this clump that's down here because this is probably just just discharge and you know blood and, and so forth from the eye as it was sore. It's important to remove this so that he doesn't try and um, wipe his eye with his claw and put it back into the eye because it's like little granules and it would be painful so we have to really be careful to clean all of that off so this eye can be kept as clean as possible. Takes a little bit of softening, but it will get there. Because it's early in the morning now, he's probably done this overnight. You can see little grains like this that come mm. off, and they it's do. Really broken. Yeah, they, you don't want him pushing that back into his eye that's already sore. So we have to make sure we can get these little tiny hairs clean from all of them very carefully. We'll get it better, Clyde, so you get all these little bits off. Keep changing. Bits of hay. No, it's um, it's from the eye, eye discharge. So if we look uh. at that, it's like a, a little crusty. Like if you had bumped your eye, mm. there'd be sort of a saltiness that that comes from your eye to try and clean as well as any blood as any as well as any debris and it just gets stuck in the hair and then these little lumps i know he's saying it's very sore i know it's going to get better now must have been flying around and ran into it but it will get better so we'll just get these, there's a little one stuck there. Let's get it out. There we go, and it comes off. So just gently wiping until all of it is completely clear because you do not want that going back into the eye. Again, more saline. It's really good to keep these on hand. If you've got little tiny saline sachets, you can use them one at a time. If you don't have them, you can make saline just from salt and don't use a table salt, you need to use a pure salt, like a rock salt, because table salt is actually, it has a large amount of silica in it, which is not salt, it's a, it's a rock. <laughs> but if you use something like rock salt, it's 100% saline or salt, you add it to water and you'll make your own saline. So you don't have to have the sachets, they're just handy. Where do you get them from? Chemist? Oh, a chemist, yeah. Any chemist, pharmacist. Yeah, just make sure you're always sort of perpendicular to the eye, you never go in like this. So you're working on those areas, you can see the big lump up there, we just get them all off. That's it, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine, put your head this way. So again, a bit more saline. Now saline also, you'll see people talk about putting a gel in there. The gels are much thicker and they tend to this is what we've learned years and years ago they tend to create more discharge from the eye that ends up in this area here the tear duct 
and if it's not wiped away regularly the eye gets overly infected and then becomes more of a problem whereas the viscosity on this is so low that it gets straight into that area these guinea pigs are so little that it just works so brilliantly saline itself has antibacterial properties I was say, the yeah salt in it, salt it does in it. it has antibacterial properties it has um, antimicrobial properties and also anti-inflammatory properties which is what you want in this area so there's you know it is top of the list as a product recommendation i know it's just there. let me try and get that little one and get it off good There we go. Now he's got a very sore little eye, but as soon as he soon starts to realize the hay obstruction has gone, it will start to settle down within about 12 hours. The lacrimal tissue, which is this tissue on the bottom and the top, which was quite showing a lot of pink, is already starting to sort of settle a little bit because the obstruction has gone. Give that 12 hours, it will settle even more. The cloudiness in the eye will take time. Now, you can actually go to vets and they can put a, a luminous fluid in to see damage caused on the globe of an eye. But I've got something shortly for you which actually shows that the body regenerates these globes. So while they will recommend an antibiotic cream or Clorsig, which you can also use, it will achieve the same result. So. Don't waste time going to the don't, dentist. Don't, well, no, yeah, no, in dentist, this sort of, the, in, the, in this instance, you don't need to take it any yeah. further. Yeah. Will you need antibiotics? Yeah, it's in the Clorsig. Okay. So Clorsig is. I get that. Okay. Yes, and that is exactly what they prescribe from the vet. They will like we've we've done this numerous mm -hmm. times. So it is a product that you can use safely okay. with guinea pigs. A lot of people will talk about. Why not use a teramycin cream? Here in Australia, you can't obtain a teramycin screen, cream, but in overseas, you can. But overseas, they can't, they can't um, get other things we can get here. It's really funny how it works, but um, the one that you do use is Clorsig. Let's just wipe that out a bit more. I'm happy that nothing further is in that eye which is the main thing we want to assure at the moment. There's a little hair there. I think there's a little hair. There's Just, a being so hairy. Yeah. A few hairs got caught up in that. Let's pull those out. We have to make sure it's all out of the eye. You never ever want to put tweezers into the eye. Don't ever do that. It'll do more damage than not. And if you can't get the hay poke you'll find as soon as you apply saline it floats a little bit and you can then take it out like we did it just helps so much Loosens it. yeah because the body naturally wants to push it out yeah. not draw it in yeah. so saline yeah i'm just gonna put i know little guys like i don't want any more we're just going to put that right in good okay now the process for this little fellow over the next two days mm -hmm is to apply saline if you can about three times a day because this is a little bit more severe and and this little nasty that was in there is quite mm. quite substantial so it has lots of little pokes that was the only bit exposed was this little tiny bit here mm. you can see how much was floating around in his eye um, oh so saline three times a day you could even do a little drop like that four times when you do apply the saline you just need to wipe that little corner out so nothing gets built up in that corner okay. when you apply the saline mm -hmm. the little drop in and you could do two drops when you're positioned above like this and you lift the top lid you can then just drop it on the lower lid it goes into the eye okay. area how many um, drops just one okay. it doesn't matter if you do two like if you do a half you know it yeah. doesn't quite hit there you can do two but then just wipe this little area at the front. The yeah. Buds got yes. Good. Now it is a very painful eye. Um, this pain will actually start to dissipate now because the, the eye has been taken care of. We've removed the obstruction. What we need to do is ensure that it stays lubricated, which is what the saline does. 
and clean and clear and literally within about 12 hours you'll see, start to see a huge difference okay. yeah very quickly you'll actually and with the anisept what, what's the other thing called a uh, claw sig How yes with that? i would do that twice today we normally do it morning and night but we've we've already into the yeah. morning so i do it once now once before bed and then okay. tomorrow once and how is it what do you do with it so exactly the same, same just yeah the exactly the same one drop one drop just one okay. drop that's it and he'll actually close his eye like he does with the saline close it that's perfectly fine and okay. do it at the end okay. so if you've done so clean it with the yeah i do the the saline yeah three times Go and get the Clorsig, just finish with a drop of Clorsig. That's it. It just puts an antibiotic there. Just, that's so that's once a day? Just once, yeah. A day. You do it twice. Well, Clorsig is twice, morning and night. Yeah. But today... Okay, okay, yeah. Consider, this afternoon and tonight. Yeah, just this afternoon when you get it and tonight. Um, and do it at the end of doing the saline. The reason you want to do saline first... Mm is because of those crusties because yeah. his eye is still going to water and build up the little crusties okay. and you're not going to remove it with the claw sig yeah so you you are applying this so that you can then move and you can even apply it like i did earlier just onto the hair like that okay. so you can apply it there i don't want to do any more for him because yeah. it's all going to get better <laughs> little guy clyde you'll feel much better soon but um you can just apply it there to remove any discharge then one drop of the claw sig and then make sure this little tear duct, you can see already there's a little bit there. Yeah. So right after you've applied the medication, you're going to just wipe outwards like that. That's it, one sweep, and you twist that as you rotate out, which means it keeps that area clean. Okay. That's it. So that is five minutes after. It's not back to normal. It's going to take, you know, a while to really settle. Oh yeah, he's he's worked out. It's fine and it's all good. The obstacle, uh, the obstacle has gone from his eye, and uh, he just needs to keep up with the saline for a little bit and the claw sig initially because he was a very big thing in his eye, and all will be fine. Hey, are you a member on our channel? Have you clicked on subscribe yet? Please do so now and this will help other people also find our content which will help other guinea pigs that need our help. Thanks everyone.